Hey guys, this is Yoni here from Geek Slam. So today's video is going to be my review of the Oxford Case 4 iPad and Tablet. You can pick this up for about £30, so £40, $45 from AccessoryVillage.com. It sounds like a steep price, but check out the whole review. Um, so keep watching and you'll find out what I think about it and if you should buy it. But anyway, thank you very much for Accessory Village for sending this out to review for me. Um, very big thanks to them because they also sent out three other iPad cases which the reviews are up. This is the final one so massive massive shout out and thanks to them. Please go and check out the website and buy some of their products. They've got pretty much if you've got a modern mobile phone then they'll have a case for it or a dock or a charger. You know if you've got a laptop there's something for you. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod whatever you've got I'm pretty sure there's something for you on AccessoryVillage.com but anyway let us begin. Whee! You can see on the top here we've got pretty much simple writing it says Oxford iPad slash tablet sleeve handcrafted black leather and at the top we've got a little blue bar with the Joseph Abud mobile collection logo. Then here we have got the actual product. Um, on the side it's nothing and now we're going to have a look at the back. So, okay so on the back we've got some pretty simple stuff um, in different languages so we've got some pictures so we've got one of the guys there and another guy. Uh, we've got some pictures of the products here and here and then we've got some information in different languages. I'm pretty sure there's French, German, Spanish and English is my guess. And then you can see it says the same thing up there. And then at the bottom we've got all the copyright information. And by the way, no matter where you purchase this from, you get the one year limited warranty um, from Joseph Abud Mobile themselves so you can contact them if anything goes wrong with this product. So it doesn't matter where you get it from, you've got the limited warranty for one whole year um, on your product, so that's something nice to have that you don't get with every product. Okay, so pretty pretty simple unboxing, you just basically slide this out, and then there you can see we've got the case, so that's great. Now on the website it claims that this is compatible with an iPad or iPad 2 with the Apple Smart Cover. I'm pretty sure it should work with the iPad 3 and the Smart Cover, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the design. So on the front you can see it's an envelope style uh, sleeve for the iPad and other 10 inch tablets. And this is recommended for use with the iPad 2, mainly because if you look here, it's extremely thin. It's only about a millimeter or two thin. Um, so that's great. On the side as well we can see we've got this flap which we'll have a look at in a second. On the top slightly thicker but that's because of the flap. The back is just plain and it is genuine leather which is nice and then we're back here on the front. Now we've got these magnets here so we've got one here, here and then here and here and this is what holds it in to um, you know keep the flap down and this is pretty sturdy so we're going to try it on with the smart cover on the iPad 2. So maybe if I didn't unclip the smart cover and it is pretty tricky to get it in when you've got a smart cover it takes two hands you can't just slide it in okay so there we go that wasn't too difficult that took me about five seconds but you know um, if you wanted to there are easier ways that you can do it so if you're not using a smart cover it'll be a lot better um, and this is definitely recommended for the iPad 2 or 3 not the first gen in my opinion because it's too thick and if you've got something like a, a Transformer Prime especially if you've got a keyboard dock definitely not for you this case you could check out some other ones that I've reviewed but without the smart cover you can just slide it in close it and then that's pretty much it adds about a millimeter and a bit on but it would because that's how much the uh, thickness the iPad has so this doesn't offer up too much protection. I did actually drop my iPad in it when I tried to uh, do this video the first time. But I do think it is a great case if you like design. Um, this definitely gets 10 out of 10 for the design. If you can smell it. Great smell of fresh leather. Um, I forgot to mention on the flap right up here, if I can focus it. Right up there and you can see the whole leather thing going on here. You can see it says Joseph Abud and we've got like the little logo emblem thing on there. So that's the pretty much the design. 
So in terms of protection of your iPad, you'll definitely get some screen protection. Um, since I forgot to mention on the inside, if you have a look, we've got this nice nylon Z print kind of fabric. And between that and the leather, not on the front here, but on the back actually, we've got um, some kind of foam or padded protection, which is nice. But I would definitely recommend using um, at least a belly there case, one of the thin ones for the back, or maybe a smart cover at least to protect your iPad screen, because if you drop it face down, and this is just on my bed, but if you drop it face down onto concrete or whatever, you've got your iPad out on the street, or in your house, on a hard floor, this is definitely not a good um, case for you. And it does also retail for £30, which is $40-$45 mark. So it's good, it's a very good case um, if you want to look for design, but you've already got a case and a screen protector, a smart cover maybe, on your iPad. This is definitely something you might might want to invest into if not if you're willing to you know pay less and get less you know nice design you could check out the signet arrows for it for show you in a second okay so here you can see it side by side with the aerosphere now this one costs literally half as much this is 15 pounds this is 30 pounds and now this one i actually think is the better buy to be honest i mean i really do like this case but it's not for me if you want you know the kind of person that likes leather you like the whole fancy thing you've got protection already on your ipad so screen protector or smart cover this is good for you but in other circumstances, if you've already got a case that you've paid a lot for um, and you want some flexibility, you want the inside of the case to be nice and smooth, whereas the outside has great drop protection, definitely spend half as less on the Signet Aerosphere. So that's pretty much it. Overall, this case gets a 7 out of 10, mainly because it, if, you know, it had more protection for the iPad, there was more padding, and it wasn't so... Um, if, if it wasn't so focused on the whole fashion designer aspect, because if you don't know, I didn't know this actually until a couple of weeks ago, that Joseph Abud is a fashion designer apparently, so that is the reason why this case is so fancy. But if you're into that, if you're into all the designer stuff, I'm not really, as you can tell by the clothes I wear, but if you're into the whole designer fashion thing, and you want something to match, you know, your nice leather shoes and your nice suit, then this is great for you, but... Otherwise, there are definitely other iPad cases and combinations you can check out. I'll also be doing some more videos in the coming weeks for some of the best iPad accessory combinations coming up. So that's all. 7 out of 10 bucks, 10 out of 10 for design, and only 4 out of 10 for protection. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please do share it in case you've got any posh friends who like leather and fancy cases. But anyway, please do hit that like button just there and then also hit the share button which is just there and share it to your Facebook it takes a second as long as you're only signed in so thank you very much for watching I'm going to end this here Yoni from Geek Slam signing out so yeah peace Woo!